Hey everyone, so today I'll be covering my regionals tournament with Voyager Cup that happened this past weekend. I would say that this wasn't the best performance I've ever had by any means, but my main goal going to this tournament is to not use Azumarill, Altaria, Registeel, or a lot of the top meta picks, and I want to go a little different just to have a little fun with it too. All things considered, my team did decent with those restrictions I kind of set for myself. So to go over my team, I went with Lapras as my generation one pick, with Skarmory as my gen two, Deoxys Defense as gen three, Toxicroak as gen 4, Zwilus as Gen 5, and Sableye as my flex pick. For the most part, the move sets are all pretty standard. Deoxys Defense was Rock Slide and Thunderbolt. In Sableye, I went with Shadow Sneak instead of Power Gem just to have a better matchup against Toxic Croak and some of the fighters. I'll get into my matchups and kind of talk through some of my strategies with my team and why I decided to go with what I went with. So going into the first matchup, I'm going against Abrag, and I've gone against him in the past, so I know that he's definitely a top uh, tier player, especially in Atlanta. And so I go into this matchup with Deoxys Defense, Skarmory, and Lapras. And so one of my big worries was really if he didn't lead Bastiodon because um, Deoxys Defense is really the only reliable counter for Bastiodon. Um, Lapras can beat it on a 2-1 to one shield advantage, um, but I don't really have that situation at the moment for myself. And so um, that's why I kind of go into a switch real quick. So after I shield this, um, I expected it to be um, Hydro Pump, but it turns out he's actually running Play Rough and uh, I believe Ice Beam. And so it's not a great situation for me because I'm down a shield and then also I've lost switch advantage. Um, and then this is also a Lolan Marowak too, which is uh, going to do quite a bit of damage um, to both uh, Skarmory and Deoxys Defense. Um, so I'm probably going to be forced to go in, um, I guess I actually go in with um, Dax Defense. Uh, was that the best idea? I don't know. Maybe I should have farmed it down with Lapras instead. I do do a quick switch into Lapras and uh, I'm able to catch a Bone Club, um, which is maybe not ideal, but um, I mean it's better than Shadow Ball I guess. But I guess he has plenty of energy in the back. However, he has uh, Venusaur and so I threw out my only Venusaur counter with Skarmory earlier and so that puts me in a pretty tricky spot. The Axis Defense doesn't do that great against Venusaur, especially without Psycho Boost, because the counters are resisted as well. So, um, he ended up not even bringing Bastidon, so I was kind of worried over nothing in some ways. I should just probably stayed in that matchup. It probably would have been uh, pretty favorable if I won that lead, actually. I would have um, probably secured that. So, uh, going to match number two, I go in with Toxic Rogue. And so, a lot of people ask me, like, did I run double counter users quite a bit, or was that just a bluff? And I actually did use Toxic Rogue and Deoxys Defense in a lot of lines together. And the main reason is because both have solid options against Azumarill. The main thing with my team is I don't really have a very hard Azumarill counter besides Lapras. Um, and so, and if they're running play rough Azumarill, it's not as hard of a counter to uh, Azumarill. But, so with that said, because I don't have any grass on my team, I kind of rely on Deoxys Defense and Toxic Croak as kind of soft counters in some ways. And so right here, I'm going to go in with Zwilus and take out the little Marowak. And uh, luckily I was able to just farm down um, that zoom reel and now i'm in a pretty good spot because why is going to resist uh grass damage and i'm able to get off uh multiple body slams which is good um be able to burn off that last shield do some damage here and um even though he's able to take out this wireless um i still have deoxys defense in the back and so um it's not a great situation for deoxys defense to be matched against venusaur but with this health discrepancy um i'm able to kind of close it out so going to the last matchup, I go with Zwilus, Deoxys Defense, and Toxic Rogue. <laughs> the main reason is I didn't expect him to lead Azumarill all three matches, um, but he does. So uh, not a great situation. Uh, I do have Toxic Rogue in the back, so I'm hoping to potentially win out that one. Um, but at this point, I'm realizing I really need to win switch advantage, though, because if I don't, I'm in quite a tricky situation here. So that's what I'm going to try to do really quick right now. And uh, unfortunately, um, I don't know if I'm able to pull this off or not. I think I might still pull it off, um, but I can't remember actually exactly what happened here. No, yeah, he does shield. He shields because he recognizes the importance of switch advantage right here too. And as you can see, I got really close to rock slide there, but I wasn't able to get to it. Um, might've overtapped a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna go quickly and switch to um, Toxic Rogue. So the main thing is I want to draw a charge move. I didn't expect him to go straight play rough, which one shots my Zwilus. Um, not a great situation, and so now I'm pretty much in a terrible situation <laughs> against his um, Azumarill. And so definitely one of the reasons why play rough is definitely handy in this cup, even though a lot of people tend to run Ice Beam and Hydro Pump. Um, so, uh, end up dropping my round one match. Not the greatest start to the tournament, but um, definitely well played by Abrag. And so now I'm going in against my second opponent, um, 
uh, Mac uh, Clevton, uh, Clevton. Sorry, I might not be saying that right. Uh, but I end up going in with uh, Lapras, Deoxys Defense, and Toxic So he has a great matchup with Ferrothorn against Lapras to start off. Um, but uh, I go quickly and switch into um, Deoxys Defense. He actually has a Legacy Golbat, which is interesting with Ominous Wind. Um, uh, so yeah, I, it, either way, I knew that um, Deoxys Defense was actually a really safe switch against his team. And so that's why I decided to go with that. Now that I have switch advantage, um, I'm just going to keep um, trying to take down this um, Fairthorn. Um, pretty much both Thunderbolt and Rock Slide are resisted, so it doesn't really matter what charge moves there I went with. And then I'm going to go in with my Toxic Cook, and now I have Lapras, and this is going to be a pretty solid matchup for me in uh, the back, and I'm able to take this uh, victory. And so, um, my opponent definitely, definitely has an interesting team, for sure. So, um, I go in with Lapras, Deoxys Defense, and Toxic Cook again, and I end up losing switch advantage. But again, like I said, uh, Deoxys Defense, a very good safe swap against this team. Um, something I noticed against a lot of teams I've played against is there aren't a lot of strong Deoxys Defense counters. So, I end up relying a lot on Deoxys Defense actually throughout this entire tournament, too. Um, I'm going to go in, just double Thunderbolt, uh, see what he does. And so, he does end up... Um, not shielding, and then now I could um, pretty much almost get to a rock slide. Um, not quite enough, and uh, right here I'm going to see if he double shields or not. He does double shield, um, and I'm going to try to beat him to another rock slide, and I do. And now I'm able to win switch advantage. Uh, pretty important just because he has that Reggie Steel. Um, and that's not going to be a great situation for my Lapras. Um, and then now I'm in a pretty good spot. I don't even have to shield this. Um, I'm going to go in with my Toxicroak for a quick swap. Um, Toxicroak can tank a Flash Cannon, no problem. And the Lock-Ons aren't going to do enough damage to take it out. And so um, I pretty much just counter a little bit more and then throw the um, Mud Bomb and take out the Registeel. So my team actually does pretty solid against Registeel. Um, the main thing is I haven't seen too many Registeels in regionals. Um, a lot more people have been running Bastidon or Melmetal and stuff. Um, which is definitely interesting too. So going into the third matchup, I go in with Lapras, Deox Defense, and Toxic again. If it worked last few times, might as well keep trying. Um, again, I don't really win switch advantage there, but Deox Defense, great on the switch. Um, my opponent decides to shield the Thunderbolt again. And then right here, uh, I do shield the Ice Beam. Um, and uh, I go in for another Thunderbolt and seeing if he's going to shield or not. He doesn't. And then um, now I'm, he's within Rock Slide territory, so I'm not going to shield either, um, just to kind of match his shields and uh, knowing that unless it's Hydro Pump, it can't take me out. Um, I'm going to go straight in for Rock Slide. So it looks like we both play slightly differently where we both don't shield. Um, and then I'm just going to throw out Rock Slide as much uh, fast as I can before I get licked down by this uh, Licky Licky. And then now I have my Toxic Croak. And so I believe I shield right here because um, I don't know what kind of movesets he has on his Licky Licky. But if it had Earthquake, that definitely will one-shot my Toxic Croak. And that's not a great situation. Um, but now, again, a uh, great situation against uh, Hippodon with Lapras again. And then right here, I'm just going to tank whatever it is. Ends up being Body Slam. So uh, makes you think he's probably running Earthquake instead of Power Whip on his Licky Licky. Um, able to take that match. So, going to round number three against Master Jive. Um, I'm going in with Sableye, Toxic Cook, and Deoxys Defense. He has a pretty unique team, which is why I brought in the Sableye for this one. Um, the Galvantula is definitely uh, tricky against my team because it hard counters Skarmory, does really well against Lapras, um, probably does pretty solid against Deoxys Defense too. So, I didn't really have a ton of options. Uh, um, my best option really is Wireless. Um, but that's why I still brought in Sableye because it just throws out moves pretty quickly as long as I shield. Um, so I was able to win switch advantage here. And so I have Toxic Croak and Deox Defense in the back. Deox Defense can tank quite a bit. So, um, and he ends up dropping a charge move, which works out a little bit in my favor because now I don't have to deal with a full energy um, Azumarill. And now I'm just going to throw Rock Slice. He has to shield up. His health is low enough that he's probably going to want to shield. Um, even if this is a Hydro Pump, uh, I should be able to tank it pretty well. Um, because the is just so tanky. And then I go quickly in a switch. Um, and then switch into um, against his Registeel. The, the biggest issue here is if it was um, Haunter. Because... Um, yeah, so I undercharge right there. That way, it, forces, it allows me to charge a little bit more energy right here. And now I am able to get to a Sludge Bomb as well. Um, knowing that he can't get to another Flash Cannon. And I was able to take out um, him in match one. Um, going to match number two, I go in with uh, Lapras, Wireless, and Toxicroak. 
Uh, not a great situation for me because I don't really have. I can't switch to Toxtro because when I lose that switch advantage. Um, but uh, I am going to shield uh, because thinking that might have been uh, Focus Blast. Um, and so this is a pretty solid situation for me. However, um, what I do worry about is if this. Um, I should have just used Buy Slam there. Actually, I, I don't know why I went with Dark Pulse. I was slightly worried about Bug Buzz because that was going to do. That's going to do quite a bit of damage against this Wireless um, because it is Dark Typing as well, and so it's going to um, be weak to that. I'm not sure if Dragon resists it, but at the very least, it's going to do neutral. Um, we end up just throwing Discharge instead, um, so it's making me think that maybe he doesn't actually have Bug Buzz on it. He might have. Um, I think energy balls other move so um but able to win switch advantage pretty good now i have my lapras in the back um but all shields are down so this actually is perfect because now i could just hit the haunter with one mud bomb uh pretty much one shot it and then now take out the red steel so that worked out for me which just shields down because otherwise it's a tricky matchup uh against the ice defense um i go in with uh lapras wireless and toxic again same line as last time this is not a great situation for me again because i don't really even have a toxic counter i have the mirror um, but I do go in with Zwilus, and the reason why I go in with Zwilus is because, um, the Dragon Breath damage does quite a bit, and so, um, and Toxic is pretty glossy, so I'm just going to try to chunk it down with just Dragon Breath damage. Um, I have lost Switch Advantage at this point, but, um, it's not the worst case scenario because, uh, and I, you can see I didn't actually drop the Body Slam, but it is resistant anyway, I was just hoping to get to a Dark Pulse if he over farmed me. Um, but now I have Toxic Grok. Um, pretty solid situation, and then I'm going to go in with my Toxic can just drop a Mud Bomb. He does shield, and I go quickly switch into Lapras. I'm not going to shield the sack it and just uh, tank the Energy Ball, um, uh, which was kind of surprising. He must have made a really quick uh, call on that because, uh, well, actually, Discharge would have been effective too. So um, I don't know if Energy Ball is actually less energy or not. Um, but I do have a shield at this point too, and I'm um, able to close out this Registeel with Toxic Croak and just drop a Mud Bomb. Um, so GG's the Master Drive right there. Um, and then now we're going into round number four, the Devon Corp. Um, going in with Deoxys Defense, Lapras, and Zwilus against this team. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't really once um, really won the lead call in qu quite a few games in this entire regionals. Um, but anyway, uh, so going in, uh, not a great matchup for me, of course. Um, but I'm just going to spam out these surfs, and because I was able to get a decent amount of energy lead, uh, I'm hoping to at least draw one shield from my opponent, and uh, I was able to at this moment, which is really good, because now um, I, I'm losing the matchup, but at least I'm gaining um, some uh, a shield advantage right here. Um, shield advantage is actually pretty important for Deoxys Defense, because now um, having shield advantage against uh, a low Marowak will be pretty useful, because I can just drop those rock slides. I'm not going to shield... Um, because it's just not worth, because uh, the axe defense is so tanky, I'd rather save my shields um, for a little Marowak or whatever's in the back. Um, so right here, I go quickly and switch into Zwilus, Um and uh, he luckily has um, uh, Altaria in the back, so that's going to be a decent neutral matchup for the most part, but I was able to hit it with a Dark Pulse and then now Body Slam, um, because I'm, uh, because I have, uh, what do you call it, two shields left, um, I'm able to kind of really um, just go at it um and not really hold back there and then now i uh have a shield left able to drop a rock slide on the a low mail rock um i think if it was like a zoom roll in the back or something that definitely would have been trickier um going into this matchup i go in with lapras um deoxys uh, defense and toxra so finally i do win a lead call uh fortunately so uh, that was um <coughs> That was good right there. Um, I do just drop the Surf just because um, it's not really worth dropping a Skull Bash uh, and wasting all that energy. Now I am going to drop a Skull Bash. Uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage from the game if it lands. It does end up landing, which is great. And then now I'm just going to keep throwing out um, Ice Shards. And at this point, um, there's no really point in needing to shield it. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Lapras already did quite a bit of damage. And then now he has uh, Bastiodon on the back. Terrible matchup for Bastiodon with Toxic Grok against it. Um, but there's really no choice at this point um, for my opponent to, uh, you know, do anything else because uh, that's his last Pokemon. Um, I'm going to shield this right here. Uh, I know that Deoxys Defense could take it out as well. But I kind of want to keep my line hidden in case uh, I end up bringing it to the next lap, uh, lineup. And so he wouldn't know. And I do do that. So I bring in Lapras. The Axis Defense and Toxic Rogue. Uh, again, actually able to win the lead this time, which is nice uh, for once and then, or for a second time. And uh, I choose not, or I do choose a shield. Okay, so I do get baited out with a Bone Club, um, but I know that this is going to put immense pressure on this Alola Marowak to shield again, and he does. 
And so at this point, I'm thinking, okay, it's got to be Shadow Ball at this point if he double shielded. It still isn't. Um, but either way, I still have to get to a third surf before he gets to that Shadow Ball. Um, oh, actually, okay, I guess he actually does get to the Shadow Ball right here. Um, but, nah, yeah, not great because I lost Switch Advantage. But um, the biggest weakness I have on his team um, for Jax defense is a little Marowak. Um, after that, it's uh, Meganium. It's not a terrible situation, but it's not great. Um, uh, and now I have the back matchup lined up pretty well with um, Toxic Rook against Bastiodon too. So great matchup right here. And then now I'm able to just pretty much uh, hopefully get to probably a Sludge Bomb um, before Altari gets the Sky Attack, or he's probably just trying to farm me down because he knew, knows that I still have um, a half health Jax defensive back. So able to wrap up round number four. Going into round number five, going against Feeling This One, going with Lapras, uh, Deoxys Defense, and Toxic Rogue. Um, and yeah, so this is not a great situation if his Hypno is running Shadow Ball. Um, and so I decided to shield just in case, and it is Shadow Ball. It's going to do quite a bit of damage if it lands. And so at this point, I know that I just need to win Switch Advantage because I know that Lapras can't do anything against a Bastidon, especially with shields down. So I just double shield um, the Shadow Ball. And then I go in for another rock slide. Um, and then uh, he doesn't shield, but I'm able to counter him down. Um, so now I assume he's going to go in with the other Pokemon that um, uh, is in Bastion, obviously. So it's Altaria. Pretty good situation for me um, because now I have Lapras against it. And then he's going to drop uh, a Sky Attack, so he's going to be more or less on neutral energy right here. Um, and I go in Lapras, and I'm getting ready to switch. And I quickly switch to Toxic Oak once I see the Bastion. Um, I play no games here um i'm just going to go straight uh uh mud bomb right here and he is able to get to a charge move um and he hits me a stone edge so um i am going to go straight for the sludge bomb at this point um because it's going to be able to take out the altaria um so i was able to take him out here um uh, feeling this one is also undefeated at this time and i was uh three and one so i had to go four and one right here to even stand a chance um in the finals because uh, we had an uneven amount of uh four and one, uh, four and oh players at the time yeah four no players um so yeah, so three of them and so this was my only chance i had to win here um but uh yeah i was expecting hypno um yeah i didn't expect him to lead uh bastard on again but he does um and so uh i am going in with lappers right here i'm not going to shield or i do shield i guess um it's play rough so i guess it's not like the end of world and then i'm going to go in with the surf um and able to take out his Azumaro with a little bit of energy. Um, I'm expecting Bastiodon. And so I'm going to throw out some Surfs. Um, mainly the real question is what he has in the back. Um, and so I am going to shield this uh, because if it's Altaria, it's not great. Um, but I do want him to burn a shield. And uh, I don't believe he he does burn one shield, but he's still up a shield, which is unfortunate um, for me. And then I'm going to try to see if I could burn another shield. He does. Um, at this point, he just uh, stone edged me down, um, and I have his Y list, which is, um, for some reason I thought I had Toxic Rogue, but yeah, terrible matchup against Bastidon, um, and then he has Hypno, um, not a bad matchup for his Y list, but the problem is, I'm way too low on health at this point to do much, um, maybe if I got to the Body Slam, uh, yeah, the main reason why I didn't use the Body Slam right there is because I knew he still had the Bastion on the back, I needed to take it out with the Charge move. Um, so this is actually uh, feeling this one's vantage point. I asked him to send me the footage and he kindly uh, sent it over to me. Uh, main reason is because my uh, game actually crashed at the very end of this match. Um, it ended up not being consequential to the outcome, um, but it just doesn't look good because it ends up before the match is fully concluded. Um, but anyway, so I go in with Lapras, Deoxys Defense, and uh, Toxic Rogue, the same line I went with for my first matchup. Um, and we're playing out the same matchup pretty much, except he's able to bait me with a Thunder Punch. I was actually really scared that he was going to bait me there, um, but I don't know, I didn't really want to take the risk. Um, so I end up shielding, and uh, then I do a quick switch to Lapras. Um, he ends up switching to Zumero. Um, I think that was a misclick. He probably wanted to do Bastidon, but um, either way, he's in a fairly comfortable spot at this moment because shields are down, um, and he's able to pretty much take out my Lapras here. Um, even if I land a Skull Bash right here, which I probably do, um, it's not going to be enough uh, to take out the Zumro. So Zumo has a decent amount of energy too. So I go in quickly with uh, Toxic Rook, and then he ends up switching uh, Bastidon, which is an interesting choice. Um, I think... 
Um, I'm not sure actually, but um, either way, uh, he still has a very comfortable lead at this point. He does drop the Shadow Ball right here, and then I still have my Deoxys Defense with a little bit of health, but as you remember, his Azuma had plenty of energy left, and so he's able to drop a Play Rough on me. Um, had it been Ice Beam, would have been a little bit closer, but um, unfortunately I couldn't. So I ended up dropping my second uh, loss of the tournament there, um, and then now I'm going into the final round against James Games. Um, going with Lapras, the Axis Defense, and Toxicroak. Um, I think his team, yeah, his team for the most part is fairly weak to Toxicroak. Um, yeah, he has a little Marowak as counter, but um, if I shield the Shadow Balls right, um, which I don't right here, um, I potentially could force shields. Uh, so I don't, uh, which is um, surprising too, because usually people drop the Shadow Ball. Um, but at this point, I am going to shield because uh, usually they don't bluff twice in a row. And so um, he's going to have to build up quite a bit of energy to get to another Shadow Ball. And so he ends up letting it go, um, and uh, which is good because now I win switch advantage. And uh, I'm going to let this Deoxys Defense go. Um, <laughs> it's actually so bulky that I was able to actually drop another charge move. Um, Rock Slide is going to do very little against Pro Pass. Um, but I do have Toxic Stroke, and that's going to be able to take out the Pro Pass pretty quickly. Um, and then now I'm going to drop, uh, go straight for a Sludge Bomb right here. Um, I know he has a shield, um, but I'm in a pretty comfortable position because I still have uh, my Lapras in the back. And Lapras is going to do really well against uh, this Azumaro. And so um, I'm going to go quick switch because I don't want him to farm any additional energy off of my Toxic Stroke, even if it's going to be like a bubble or two. And then um, it's actually going to be a little bit closer than I imagined it to be. Um, well, I guess, yeah, it just um, it depends on how much this defense raised it by, but um, it should be enough to tank the play rough um, with that defense buff uh, from Skull Bash, and then now I'm able to just land a Surf and take him out. Um, so he has double steal too, which is very interesting, which is why I end up going with um, Toxic and, De and Deoxys Defense in all my matchups. It also does both do decent against Azumarill too, which is why I brought him. Um, main thing I had to worry about is Hypno for the most part. Um, so... Uh, I go in, I was able to actually bait him with a Mud Bomb, which plays in my favor. Uh, he hits me with an Ice Beam, um, and then he does actually a really quick switch into what is a Lola Marowak, which is not a great situation for me because um, he does resist, uh, Lola Marowak does resist the Poison Damage because it's Ghost Typing, but I was able to come in with my Lapras, and then even if this is a Shadow Ball, not the Ender World, um, just because I know that I have a decent amount of energy left still on the Slappers. I'm hoping to get to um, a Skull Bash if it was uh, Zumero. It actually ends up being Pro Pass. Uh, not a bad situation for me because um, Surf actually does a decent amount of damage and Pro Pass is much, uh, a lot less tankier than um, Pro uh, Bastion is. Um, I go for a quick switch with. Um, my uh, Toxic and the main reason is because I didn't want it to farm my Lapras too much. I still have Deoxys Defense in the back, which is the main reason why I was counting on him to just switch back to Zumro. Totally fine, um, because I can take out the Zumro with Deoxys Defense, and then now I can just counter down the Pro Bass because it's pretty low on health at this point, too, and Deoxys Defense is tanky enough to tank um, pretty much any charge move from Pro Pass still at this point. Um, and all I pretty much need is a Rock Slide here, and that should be able to finish Pro Pass off. Um, so yeah, so that was match number two, and then going into our final match, I am going in with Zwilus, Deoxys Defense, and Toxic Croak. Um, I don't win that lead situation, um, but he goes, uh, switches straight away to uh, a little Marowak. Um, let's see if I read the baits correctly or not this time around. Um, so I believe I don't shield because I'm pretty confident that I can survive a Shadow Ball still. I do, but I wasn't able to get to the Rock Slide, unfortunately. Um, not the end of the world because I kind of need to use this wireless one way or another, and I figured that this might be the best matchup I have against his alone Marowak. I was actually really scared there's a Hypno in the back. Um, main reason is because he would probably bring Hypno and Alola Marowak for counters for um, Toxic Rogue. Both can do decent against uh, Deoxys Defense as well. Um, so I do shield that Zwilus um, because I'm trying to get as much damage as possible. I do a quick switch into um, Alola Marowak, uh, sorry, Toxic Rogue. And the main reason is because um, Want to get get kind of a jump on energy, um, especially if it's Hypno back. It ends up being a Reggie Steel, so this is kind of a perfect situation for Toxic Rogue. Um, Toxic Rogue has great matchups against both um, Pro Pass and uh, Reggie Steel, and so at this point, even if it's a Thunderbolt, I could tank it. Um, it's actually a Magnum Bomb, which is interesting, um, but I was able to kind of wrap up that last match. So big congratulations to a Deep Khan who ended up going six and zero in the regionals run. I unfortunately wasn't able to go against him, so can't really speak to how his team played. 
played and stuff like that too, but I'm sure that someone will probably cover his footage. I'll link the self results in the description so that we can take a look at the different teams that were used. Also, a big shout out to Robbie Aquinas and Lavoy Gaskins, both of which who end up qualifying for Continentals as well because Atlanta was able to get three invites based off of how many total participants we had. I played both of them in the past and they're great competitors too, so I know the three of them will represent Atlanta and Georgia really well. Overall, I feel pretty good about my run in regionals. It wasn't a sweep or a qualifying total that I was looking for, but I was able to kind of play a little off meta and still have fun while doing it. Big congratulations to everyone that qualifies for Continentals this year and eventually Worlds. It's a really big moment for a lot of people. For me personally, this is pretty much how I created my YouTube channel. As you can see, my first video ever in YouTube was my regionals run last year while using Lugia. I think winning regionals or going to continentals is a great experience and really kind of elevates a lot of players to the spotlight and to really build a following and have a lot of really interesting opportunities from it. All that's to say, I'm really grateful for all the experience I had. And I really hope that the future attendees of Continentals and Worlds has an amazing experience as well. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and share and subscribe for future content. Best of luck to everyone in the region that haven't competed yet, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.